The absolute value of a number is also called its modulus and is written in this form. It is the distance from the number to zero. So for example, the absolute value of minus three. This is the distance from minus three to zero. So look at this on the number line. We see that the distance from minus three to zero is one, two, three units. So the absolute value of minus three is equal to three. What about the absolute value of three? Well, this is the distance from the number three to the number zero. And this is, again, three units. So the absolute value of three is equal to three. Since the distance from any number to zero cannot be negative, the absolute value is always positive. If you are told that the absolute value of x is equal to three, then x could be equal to three, or x could be equal to minus three. And we've seen why this is from this example up here, because the absolute value of minus three is three, but the absolute value of three is also three. So let's take another example. Suppose you're asked to find the absolute value of seven minus 12. This is the absolute value of minus five, which is the distance from the number minus five to zero. So look at this on the number line. So the distance from minus five to zero is five units. So the absolute value of minus five is equal to five. What about the absolute value of zero? Well, this is the distance from the number zero to zero. Well, the distance from zero to zero is zero. We are asked to solve the equation. The absolute value of 2x minus 1 is equal to 4. Now, if you are given that the absolute value of something is equal to 4, that means that the distance from whatever is inside the absolute value sign to the number 0 is 4. So if we have a look at this, here is 0. So we could be talking about this distance here, since it's 4, or we could be talking about this distance here, which is also 4. So that means whatever is inside the absolute value symbol is either 4 or it's minus 4. So that means that 2x minus 1 is equal to 4, or 2x minus 1 is equal to minus 4 since these are the only two numbers that have a distance of 4 from 0. So solving for x then, adding 1 to both sides, gives us this, and dividing both sides by 2, gives x equal to 5 over 2. Or, solving here for x, So we get that x is equal to 5 over 2, or x is equal to minus 3 over 2. So we should check if we're correct. So we'll check our solutions into the original equation to see if it's true. So the absolute value of 2x minus 1 is equal to 4. So when x is equal to 5 over 2, so we'll substitute in 5 over 2 for x. So we get the absolute value of 5 minus 1 is equal to four. That is the absolute value of four is equal to four. And this is true since the distance from four to zero is four. Or, so now we'll substitute in our other value. So x is minus three over two. This gives us that the absolute value of minus 4 is equal to 4. And this is also true, since the distance from the number minus 4 to 0 is 4. So this is just one example.